Hello, Alfonso and Seltzer here with a certain swarthy Italian ladies' man that we have literally grabbed from the show floor. I mean, he's sitting here eating a pretzel and drinking a drink. And uh, for those of you that do not recognize this face, he is actually a very famous man. He is an industry legend, Tommy Tellerico. And for those of you at home that don't know who Tommy Tellerico is, why don't you let us know? Oh, I thought you were talking about her. Oh, me. Hi, yes. What do you want to know? Uh, tell us who you are. For those that don't know, I could tell them who you are, but it wouldn't be as fun. Yeah, but that, then I look, sound like an asshole telling you all about myself. But that's kind of what the point is. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm an asshole. Me too. I am a big asshole. I'm a bigger asshole. Yeah, well, you're taller for sure. But do you have it where it counts? That's the question. Absolutely. Hey, no, wait. We're both Europeans. Hey, I'm Italian. I don't know about you. Oh, well, come on. We're, we're from the same part of the world. Okay. Yeah, you kind of got the skin for it. I'll give you yeah, that. No, I got the hair for it. Oh, yeah. you have hair on your shoulders? Absolutely. Ah, here we go, here we go. Oh, my God, he does! Look at it! Oh, crap, you can braid that shit, my man. All right, so why don't we go into who you are? Oh, yeah, that whole thing. I've been a video game composer uh, for almost 20 years, and uh, most recently, over the last four or five years, I've been touring my uh, show, Video Games Live, around the world. In fact, we uh, I just flew in uh, yesterday from Brazil. We were there for uh, two or three weeks. All right, and to give people uh, some idea of what exactly you've done, you've worked on games such as Earthworm Jim, Wild Nine, Messiah, uh, you know, uh, I mean, fuck, I could keep going on and on and on, but, uh, you know, Wild Nine, I gotta say, love that game growing up. I bought it for the PlayStation One. Actually, I got it for Christmas, and I loved that game. That was, uh, that was one of the last ga- or the last game that the Earthworm Jim team actually did together. And uh, it never got a lot of props, but I always loved that game. I'm, I'm all power up. That was me. Power up? Yeah. And then, uh, you know, jammed a guy into a meat grinder. Yeah, you just slap guys around. It was a fun game. Yeah. Did, you, did you do any other voices for that? I did all the voices the whole game. Oh, great. I, I, I love when you're flying down the tube and you're, yo, mama, yo, mama's mama, yo, exactly. grandmama's mama. mama. That was me. All right. Now, uh, I mean, you've done a lot of games. I could keep going. Advent Rising, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. You've named all the shittiest games I've worked on. Okay, why don't you name some of the good ones then? No, no. Well, there's Metroid Prime, there's the Sonic series, Unreal Tournament, the Madden Football, Earthworm Jim, though, that was a great one. Yeah, I was going to say, why did you just say Earthworm Jim was shitty? Disney's Aladdin. No, we love Earthworm Jim. It's probably one of the favorite games I've ever worked on. Yeah, now I must say, I think a few gamers just got moist hearing that you did the music for uh, Metroid Prime. I did, all the, uh, I did a lot of the sound design, didn't do the music. Okay, well, but you got to admit, Metroid Prime, amazing soundtrack. Awesome. Yeah, we had a great time. Uh, I mean, I worked with Miyamoto on that game for probably about three years. So working with the master was, was pretty awesome. Now, speaking of uh, Japanese people, Miyamoto, uh, Nintendo, uh, I'm going to launch into Koji Kondo. Have you ever worked with them? Oh, I, I, I was just with Koji Kondo a couple weeks ago um, when we were in Japan. We did two shows, the Video Games Live, in uh, Japan during TGS. And Koji Kondo uh, was a guest at our show. Very nice guy, too. Amazing, amazing guy. And uh, he performed piano, the Mario theme, on the piano for us. And for those that don't know who Koji Kondo is, a Zelda composer. He composed music for Zelda and Mario, all the Nintendo games, like Star Fox. And uh, and it was the very first time that he ever performed in Japan. How crazy is that, that? That is insane. I mean, he is a legend. 5,000 people lost their freaking minds when he started playing. It's great YouTube stuff. You can see it on YouTube. You put it video games live plus Koji Kondo. All right. And now, I think I'm going to go into a little bit of your history and see if people can recognize. I mean, not, not see if people, excuse me. You tell me if I tell this correctly. So you started out working in the video game industry, and you weren't a musician in the industry. You were just working in the office. And you're working uh, with these people. Yeah, you're a tester, and they're working on this game, and you say, listen, this game is shitty fucking music. I can make great music. Let me try. Let me, just let me compose a couple of pieces for this game. If you like it, give me a shot. Just give me, give me a chance for Christ's sake. Right. Uh, pretty much. I mean, uh, there was no music in the game yet, so I wasn't calling stuff shitty, but, but uh, no. Stories. Yeah, we were talking about uh, 
No, I just, I told the guy, oh, I see they're, they're showing some stuff from Brazil here. This is, yeah, this is, uh, this is about, uh, watch this first video, you'll just see it's a bunch of stuff about Brazil, the country itself, but uh, real soon here you'll see it get into, uh, get into video games live and the kind of excitement that, uh, that people have for the show. We literally like, ten, oh, they cut it off right before it started. Anyway, uh, that's okay. But, um, the, uh, so the, the, there wasn't music in the game yet, and I said, hey. It's an old story. It can't change. That's okay. I like your story better. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I would always say, um, by the way, do you watch? Do I do much You're just sitting here listening. You told me that I was supposed to stand here and make you happy to be here. Oh, oh I get it. That's why I said, here's your eye candy, Tommy. Oh, so you're kind of like the fluffer. You know, and this is why I love that Ufrag is not censored. Oh. It makes it so much more fun. Okay, so I was just wondering, I'm like, should I be asking you questions? Yeah. Maybe I can. Can I have this? So, um, where are you from? I'm from Jersey. Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to stand over here. You're going to kick my ass. No. And um, is this your first time at the VG Expo? Third time. Third time? Wow. And... Uh, what is it about this show that you love so much? Well, I heard you were going to be here, so I threw all my stuff on the train and came out and like that. Now she's just kissing my ass. Okay, here, I'll take this back to you. Uh, all right, so continue the story. So, so there was no, uh, you know, so I, I told the guy, I said, look, if you ever need music, let me know. I'll do it for free. And the very first game I worked on was the original Prince of Persia. And so we won an award for that. And then so they said, okay, I guess you're the music guy now. It's like, okay, you got an award, we can't ignore that. Well, they didn't have a music guy anyway, so it was me or nothing. So, you know. All right, now, uh, funniest story of anything that's ever happened while uh, working on a game? Funniest story? Yes, funniest story. Yeah. You should have asked me that before. I could have You could have remembered. Okay, fine, then why don't we launch into something else? There's a million stories, too, and I just I'm freezing right now. I'll, I'll come back to that. Okay, you'll come back to that. Fine, fine. Since, you know, since this has been a very colorful interview, and you're a very colorful guy, I mean, look at this shirt. What's your favorite swear? Me and my... Cover your ears. I'm going to go with cunt. All right. All right. Because it's such... I mean, what? what? Did you, hear, you didn't hear that, did you? I mean, I'm a gentleman. You know, I just, no, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you say cunt. Did you say cunt? See, when a girl says it, it's even that much more funny, don't you think? Yeah, and and uh, she says she didn't hear it. I mean, so what is it? Twat, twat? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. No, I mean, that, that word is my favorite swear word because it is, I think it's probably the most shocking word in the English language. People can, you know, throw out the F-bomb here and there. People have almost become used to it. But to use cunt, and to use it well, and wisely, and in the right situations, I think that is truly defines swearing at its finest. All right, now why don't we get back on track? Now, as a little fun aside, uh, what is the future of Tommy Tellerico? What is the future of Video Games Live, and uh, you know, just the industry for you in general? Well, eventually I'm going to die, so that's kind of in my future. Wow, you're really planning for this. <laughs> Uh, no, Video Games Live, you know, the goal was always to, you know, play video game music and bring it around the world. And so, you know, we did over 60 shows this year all over the world. So the dream and the goal is being realized, which is really cool. It's something I've wanted to do my whole life. And uh, so just bringing it more places, you know. We played Tokyo for the first time last month. Coming up, we're playing, you know, countries like Poland and Ireland and Switzerland and Spain and Portugal and you know all these great places Scotland you know that we've never played before so we played Scotland before but but you know bringing it to the world and and we change the show every year so you know this is we're playing Philly tomorrow night we got two shows and uh, you know it's our second time back to Philly but the show we're playing tomorrow is like 80% different than the show we played a couple years ago so always adding more material. All right, how about some plugs? Uh, plug your website, you know, uh, yourself, any, anything that you want people to know about and check out. Oh, is anyone interested in video game music, uh, make sure you go to videogameslive.com and see if there's a show playing around you. And if there's not, by all means, you know, sign up to our mailing list. Tell, you where, tell us where we're from. 
and where we should be bringing the show. Because